What's up guys? Good to see you as always here on Grassroots Gardening. We're out in the aviary today. I'm going to show you some problems that I've been having. So I built this aviary, I guess, about two years ago. And so I'm going to go through just in case you're thinking about building one and show you what I've done wrong so that you don't make the same mistakes. So first of all, this is a 20 by 30 aviary. And what I did was come in and pour a concrete floor and then we bricked up, as you can see along the edge here, about what is that, about two and a half, three feet. And then I had Aaron, a guy that works for me and a very talented welder, he came in, built the actual structure, and then we came in with a wire, which uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but in some of the past aviary, video, aviary videos, you guys have asked where I got this particular wire. It's a half inch by three inch heavy gauge wire. The parrots can't do anything to it. It is a little pricey, but it's a really, really good wire if you have big birds. Now this aviary in particular, I just built it on to the side. So it's kind of like a lean-to, if you will. I just built it on to the side of the jungle greenhouse, which as y'all know, if you've seen any of the past videos, and we'll look at it here in just a little bit, we've got another bird cage on the inside to keep the birds warm. But this whole entire wall over here is just greenhouse. And then of course, three other walls that are just this, this paneling of this wire and of course the roof. So I think the biggest mistake that I've made is where we built the aviary on top of. So we've got an underground bunker that we're actually standing on right now that I built uh, three years ago or so. And we're not gonna go take a look at it, but if you do wanna see it, go check out our other channel. It's called Mr. Dig, M-R period D-I-G-G. -G. I'll put a link to the description below. So since this is a gardening channel, we're not gonna go down there and check it out, but if you do wanna see inside of it and how we constructed it, check that link out. The problem with building on top of the bunker is that was fresh soil and it settled. And that settling has caused some cracking in our concrete block right here. And we'll go take a look at another section in a minute, but the actual frame of the aviary has separated from the block. And I kind of ghetto filled it with a little bit of foam, but we've got to come in and weld some more metal in to seal that up properly. So we don't want any snakes getting in here or you know a foothold for any other raccoons or something just to try to start coming in here to get after the birds but big time settling has called some may caused some major construction issues with the actual skirting of this aviary now one thing that i'm super happy that i did do was leave some cutouts in the floor for the aviary here so what this is uh, this is a pro sim quad i've talked about it in past videos but I planted plants out here. We've got one, two, three, four, five different planting holes out here. And what I wanted to do was plant citrus because it's not harmful to the birds. And then it's gonna grow up big like this one guy is already seven feet tall. And that's gonna give the birds just a more natural environment and just give them something to hang out on and just make them feel more like they're in their, again, natural environment. I think it'll look really cool. Plus we get fruit off of it and the birds can munch on that. I just think it's awesome. So definitely glad I left some, uh, some holes in the floor to plant some plants in. Let's go over here and let me show you this gap that I was talking about. So this side, for whatever reason, and we've had some rain out here lately, but this, this side, for whatever reason, has settled more. So I got an inch and a half to two inch gap right here. We're gonna have to take some more metal tubing. There's nothing really I can do about it other than you know, like one of those companies, Ramjack, come in and try to stabilize the foundation. But I don't think that's worth it. I think cheaper would be just to be able to come in with some of this metal and seal off some of that. So in saying that, when you build your aviary, if you're gonna put a concrete floor in, make sure you do a really good job, get some good compactable soil material in here, pack the heck out of it, and then put your concrete on it. This is four inch concrete too. So you might even wanna go with like a reinforced six inch pad so that you don't have the same issues that I'm having. Another thing you gotta think about is this aviary is outdoors. So it's exposed to all the elements, all the rain, all the storms. So what I've done up here, I've put some big plastic panels in certain areas of the aviary. Got one big one in the center here. And that just gives the birds somewhere to get out of the rain, to get out of the uh, precipitation, whatever might be falling. And then also, if you'll look here on their cages, we came in and used the same plastic that we used on the greenhouse as covering for them. So you've got to think about the birds too and give them some kind of shelter from the elements. Speaking of the elements, we live in South Carolina. We're zone 8B 
It does get pretty chilly during the winter time, so you gotta think about what you're gonna do for your birds there. I don't like to let them stay out in anything under 45 degrees. So, if it goes under 45 degrees, we bring these bad boys in to their own little aviary that the same dude who built my aviary out there built this nice custom cage for us. Now it is smaller, but I think they're willing to sacrifice their outdoor space for a nice warm indoor house for the winter time. Right, buddy? I know you want to bite me. I give you this, I give you this nice home in here and you still just want to eat my face off. What's up with that dude? You behave yourself. So there you have it guys, that is our aviary update. If you have any questions or comments or ideas for what we can do in the future out there in the aviary, drop them in the comments below, hit that like and subscribe. I appreciate all of you guys. Our little channel is growing and I'm so proud of it. So hit that thumbs up down there for us. If you have any ideas on videos that you wanna see, put it in the comments and I will write to it back. I'll write back to you personally. And if I can do the video, I'll do that too. As always, the more you know, the more you grow. We'll see you on the next video.